Pope Eleutherius died 189, also known as Eleutherus, was the Bishop of Rome from c. 174 to his death. The Vatican cites 171 or 177 to 185 or 193. According to the Liber Pontificalis, he was a Greek born in Nicopolis in Epirus, Greece. His contemporary Hegesippus wrote that he was a deacon of the Roman Church under Pope Anicetus c. 154-164, and remained so under Pope Soter, whom he succeeded around 174. <laughs> Dietary law The 6th century recension of Liber Pontificalis Book of the Popes known as the Felician Catalogue includes additional commentary to the work's earlier entry on Eleutherius. One edition ascribes to Eleutherius the reissuance of a decree, and he again affirmed that no food should be repudiated by Christians strong in their faith, as God created it, provided, however that it is sensible and edible. Such a decree might have been issued against early continuations of Jewish dietary law and against similar laws practiced by the Gnostics and Montanists. It is also possible, however, that the editor of the passage attributed to Eleutherius a decree similar to another issued around the year 500 in order to give it greater authority. <laughs> <laughs> British mission Another edition credited Eleutherius with receiving a letter from Lucius, King of Britain, or King of the Britons, declaring an intention to convert to Christianity. No earlier accounts of this mission have been found. It is now generally considered to be a pious forgery, although there remains disagreement over its original purpose. Haddon, Stubbs, and Wilkins considered the passage manifestly written in the time and tone of St. Prosper, secretary to Pope Leo the Great in the mid-5th century, and supportive of the missions of St. Germanus and St. Palladius. Duchesne dated the entry a little later to the pontificate of Boniface II around 530, and Momsen to the early 7th century. Only the last would support the conjecture that it aimed to support the Gregorian mission to the Anglo-Saxons led by St. Augustine, who encountered great difficulty with the native British Christians, as at the Synod of Chester. Indeed, the Celtic Christians invoked the antiquity of their church to generally avoid submission to Canterbury until the Norman conquest, but it is noteworthy that no arguments invoking the mission to Lucius appear to have been made by either side during the synods among the Welsh and Saxon bishops. The first Englishman to mention the story was Bede and he seems to have taken it, not from native texts or traditions, but from the Book of the Popes. Subsequently, it appeared in the 9th century history of the Britons traditionally credited to Nennius. The account relates that a mission from the Pope baptized Lucius, the Britannic king, with all the petty kings of the whole Britannic people. The account, however, dates this baptism to AD 167, a little before Eleutherius's pontificate, and credits it to Evaristus, reigned c. 99 c. 107. In the 12th century, more details began to be added to the story. Geoffrey of Monmouth's pseudo-historical history of the kings of Britain goes into great detail concerning Lucius and names the Pope's envoys to him as Fagan and Duvian. The 12th-century Book of Landiff placed the court of Lucius in southern Wales and names his emissaries to the Pope as Elfin and Medwi, an echo of this legend penetrated even to Switzerland. In a homily preached at Coeur and preserved in an 8th or 9th century manuscript, St. Timothy is represented as an apostle to Gaul, whence he went into Roman Britain and baptized a king named Lucius, who himself became a missionary to Gaul and finally settled at Coeur, where he preached the gospel with great success. In this way Lucius, the early missionary of the Swiss district of Coeur, became identified with the alleged British king of the Liber Pontificalis. Harnack suggests that in the document which the compiler of the Liber Pontificalis drew his information, the name found was not Britannio, but Bricio. Now this is the name Bertha, Britium, of the fortress of Edessa. The king in question is, therefore, Lucius Aelius Septimus Megas Abgar Ix, of Edessa, a Christian king as is well known. The original statement of the Liber Pontificalis, in this hypothesis, had nothing to do with Britain. The compiler of the Liber Pontificalis changed Bricio to Britannio, and in this way made a British king of the Syrian Lucius. <laughs> Death According to the Liber Pontificalis, Pope Eleutherius died on 24 May and was buried on the Vatican Hill in Vaticano near the body of St. Peter. 
Later tradition has his body moved to the church of San Giovanni della Pigna, near the Pantheon. In 1591, his remains were again moved to the church of Santa Susanna at the request of Camilla Peretti, the sister of Pope Sixtus V. His feast is celebrated on 26 May. See also List of popes List of Catholic saints Topic Notes Topic References, <references>